We're at the Tally Management World in Nice. I'm with Munir Ladki, and MyCom has some new product and solution announcements, so it would be great to hear uh, what's going on there. Thank you. So at this show, Mike, we're basically launching um, two major solutions around our state-of-the-art multi-vendor, multi-technology service assurance platforms to respond to two key business issues uh, for uh, facing the operators today. On the one hand, we are launching a solution for the management of the user experience uh, related to the voice over IP, NGN, and IMS networks. And the other one is around the uh, automated management and optimization of mobile broadband capacity. Can you tell me, uh, Mune, how do they fit into the MyCom solution set? Well, basically, MyCom has developed over the years a multi-vendor, multi-technology service assurance platform. Um, and we've invested a lot in the R&D to make it a very open platform that can manage the complexity of today's networks. Uh, that are by a sense multi-domain integrating a lot of new applications and services and now we are working with uh, best of breed partners industry experts to deliver new expert solutions around this platform so for example for the case of the NGN and IMS voice over IP networks uh, we've partnered with a German company it's called IPTGO who have a lot of expertise in the SIP mediation and with them, we are now, we've integrated the solutions and we are offering to the market a solution that enables to monitor in real time what is happening at each uh, on the quality of the experience, uh, for example, for voice over IP or for IPTV in the, in the coming, in the, in the short, in the near future. And then to relate this directly to the underlying network so we can provide the real-time visibility to the operator they can understand exactly what's you know they can have a visibility on what the end subscriber is perceiving but at the same time when something goes wrong they, are, they can immediately you know um, identify the root cause the underlying root cause and fix it so that you keep a, a satisfied customer and you increase your reactivity to any any issues and you reduce by the same token your costs okay uh, for the, in the case of the mobile broadband, we all understand that there is today also a, a big need in terms of managing the capacity of the networks with the explosion of uh, the broadband traffic in, on mobile networks. So there we've partnered with Qualcomm, who is again the uh, expert company in the uh, CDMA and uh, Mobile, HSPA, HSPA Plus uh, technologies. So we have now a set of expert algorithms sitting inside our solution that are analyzing in real time the behavior of the networks, their capacity, and that provide almost in real time recommendations to the operator to tune the networks so that you can optimize the capacity, the available capacity, and you adjust your investment to where the capacity really is needed. Uh, and that is a first step towards what uh, we hear about, and that is the self-optimizing networks or self-healing networks, where you know, you, that without a human inter, uh, without a human involvement, the system itself is is almost close, closing the loop and optimizing the capacity of the of the network. I'd like to introduce Pam to the conversation to cover really what's been happening with Mycom uh, from a commercial perspective since we last talked. Thank you very much. Um, We've uh, seen uh, a uh, significant growth in uh, inquiries and size of our pipeline and the number of deals we we're closing in the past, um, say, six to nine months, right. uh, significantly driven by the, uh, the growth in the, in, of data in, uh, in wireless and wireline networks and the usage of it. Um, we talked, uh, Manir touched upon a number of these items in his, uh, in his conversation with you. And what we're seeing is that a lot of the uh, legacy systems and the legacy uh, uh, architecture um, that, that is used today to manage these uh, networks and performance of the networks is insufficient um, to cope with the end-to-end -end nature of the data and uh, the fast-moving, um, ever-changing technology that, that, that comes up with new elements in the system and new um, moving parts in the system and, and keeping up with that is, is a major challenge for the operators and, and what we've seen is um, a, a large movement um, from 
in-house developments to buying uh, best-in-class products. We're also seeing uh, a significant replacement of legacy systems that are not up to scratch for what is needed today. Um, the pressure point, the cost pressure is still there for the, uh, for the operators, so they're really looking for plug-and-play solutions as opposed to a lot of customized solutions. Off-the-shelf is um, popular again. Out-of-the-box is, is a good word. And, uh, and, and that's what's driving a, a lot of our growth because that's the space we play in very well. And in, in terms of new, uh, new business acquisition during the period since we last talked, how's your business growing? The business is growing the fastest we've had um, in years. Um, we, we are now um, at a stage where we have to um, rationalize um, how we're going to respond to a, a very high demand for trials, for uh, activities and engagements with our customers um, on that level because of the demand. The demand has never been higher. We've signed up a number of uh, large group deals um, this year, and we're going from strength to strength with uh, our existing customer base, um, likes of O2s and Vodafones, uh, O2 Telefonicas and Vodafones are growing faster with us than ever. Um, on the uh, other front, we've signed up um, Orascom and uh, Wind uh, Greece, uh, uh, which is a major milestone for us because it's not only... Uh, a radio or a, or a wireless part of the network that we signed up to. It's the combined converged solution of ours that is going to manage the wireline and the wireless business in a single platform for that. So um, up against a very good, uh, worthy and uh, competent competition as well. But we do have a number of differentiators that, that uh, makes us number one in every evaluation these days. Okay, and, congratulations. Uh, thank you. I'd like to finish up with a, um, with a question to you, uh, Munir. What is the major challenge for your clients um, that you're trying to address going forward? Uh, right now, basically, we have a couple of key challenges that we are trying to, uh, that, that we help our customers address. On the one hand, uh, we are helping them to materialize uh, their plans to converge their networks. To today, most of them are running converged uh, networks, wireless and wireline, and wanting to offer seamless uh, services anywhere, anytime to their customers, irrespective of where they are, on, uh, either connected to a wireless network or to a wireline. And for that, we are today deploying a solution. We are uh, migrating and transforming, helping them to continue the transformation of their OSS by rationalizing their architectures, simplifying it, reducing their costs, and offering all IP-based services to their customers. And today I can say that MyCom is one of the very, very few companies in the market, as Payam mentioned today, that has an uh, available uh, solution, a best-in-class solution that addresses this convergence in the mobile IP and fixed. That's a major, first major challenge. On the other uh, side, operators are today uh, facing a challenge with the uh, increase, the huge increase of mobile data traffic, and data traffic in general, but mobile in particular, and they need to monetize it. They need to monetize this bandwidth that they are offering to their customers, and they came to realize that they cannot substitute themselves to every content provider, so they need to partner with the content provider, and they need to create a certain value on top. And I think right now I, can see, I see a consensus among the operators' community that this value resides in the quality, uh, in the quality of service that they can offer, that they can guarantee on top of the content. For example, uh, a, a content provider can offer an IPTV through the Internet with all the best effort limitations of the Internet or go through a telecom operator and get a guarantee on the quality of service. And the solutions that we offer help are a must-have enabler almost to, to the operators to enable them to uh, basically uh, deliver that business model based on a sort of managed quality service with the, with the content provider. And on the other side, there is an investment and the reduction of CapEx issue because when you have the mobile data traffic increasing in this way, operators must, they have to 
find ways to reduce their capex and to, in, to optimize their investments. And the solution that we are delivering, for example, with uh, together with Qualcomm, will definitely help the operators uh, to achieve up to 30% uh, capex savings uh, in an automated way, uh, which is a uh, well, basically a, a great value uh, to, to, for them, and will enable them on the on the longer uh, term to sustain uh, this this increase in uh, in traffic. Okay, well, it sounds like you got a very clear vision for the business, and I wish you uh, good luck. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you.